What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. Um, this time we're doing another Twitter header one um, on Pixlr, so you guys don't need Photoshop or any like page software of any sorts. But very first, before we get too far into the video, if you guys could go down there, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I also briefly just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on the channel as I usually do in the beginning of these videos. You guys did see that I did start uploading again on the channel after my graphics pack, which uh, I just thank you guys for the support on those videos um, after a really long break um, and having some health issues and some other stuff going on. Um, I stopped uploading again, so I just apologize for the inconsistent uploads on the channel in general. Uh, I'm really trying to like get back on track here. Honestly, this little short break I've taken from like the last bit of uploads I did um, wasn't even like for any specific reason other than I just really wasn't happy with the type of quality um, like templates I was making and just tutorials in general. I kind of felt like at the end I was just rushing them um, and honestly, like just the templates themselves like looking back especially on that anime youtube banner one that i just did i know you guys liked it um i had like naruto and uh, mha one as well um i just wasn't super satisfied with the templates i felt like they just really looked meh so i also had a couple other graphic stuff um like planned for the channel but i ended up just scrapping that and going with these um so i do have a couple more and i've kind of revamped my graphic style and everything like that and hopefully you guys like these templates coming up so again i just appreciate all the support on the channel as always from the people People who return I do spend a lot of time on these templates I scrap them over and over again but yeah short rant over um I do have a lot of videos planned in the next couple weeks they're gonna be just graphic tutorials on the channel for a while um you guys saw I started uploading like some keyboard stuff again and just some other like YouTube shorts we're just gonna be sticking to graphics tutorials and just stuff like that on the channel for a while I know that's what a lot of you guys are subscribed for I know that's what a lot of you guys um you know just watch the videos for and you know have the notification bell on for so with that being said again I appreciate the support and let's go ahead and and just jump right into today's video. All right, so now that we are over on our desktop here and you guys can see what I got going on on my screen, um, I will just preface this as I preface all of my graphics videos. Um, I will have, you know, some timestamps if you guys want to scroll through if you've seen the tutorials here on the channel before. But if not, I'm just going to briefly go over some of the stuff, you know, beginning stuff that you guys always need to do with my tutorials. So first of all, um, this is the banner that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. This is for Twitter, not YouTube. Um, I'll toss a card up and I'll have a bunch of videos in the playlist below. If you guys want to check out my YouTube banner tutorials, I have a ton of them here on the channel this one specifically is going to be for twitter as a lot of them are on my channel so you know this is just for twitter i get comments asking all the time about why it doesn't fit youtube this is for twitter specifically i'm showing you guys how to make this one here it's actually not too complicated and i do have a free template as well for you guys the first thing you need to do obviously here is just go to the description it will be a top link in the description it is just a google drive link so it's definitely safe for you guys here all that will be in it is just going to be this folder right here i usually just drag it right to my desktop That's what I recommend you guys do as well right away just to be you know prepared while I do the tutorial so we've got the font of course and I will show you guys how to add that to, to Pixlr as well and then we have the template here fully done in high quality for you guys so you guys can just import it I'll show you how to do everything as well and then all we have left here is just the PNG character from Demon Slayer that I will show you guys how to you know put into your header and everything like that so make sure to just download that get it all to your desktop here and then as you guys can see this is what the final thing is going to look like and I'll show you guys how to do some of the you know Japanese text as well and make it look super cool. So let's go ahead and just hop into our browser here. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Pixlr up top here, but you guys can of course just click the link in the description that I provided for you guys. Now the very first thing we're gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go open image and I'm just gonna grab that template and I'm just gonna double click on it right here. And as you guys can see, it just automatically formats it and it actually already just auto locks it so you guys don't have to do anything with this. You're just gonna leave the background as it is. So then as you guys know, the very first thing we're also gonna do here is we're just gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and then we're also just going to grab that PNG character, which already has a transparent background. So when I go ahead and just double click it, it will just kind of automatically put it in. Now I'm just going to grab this corner. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller here. And it's going to go ahead and kind of just auto lock on that bottom part. And I'm going to just kind of line it up. And then I'm also just going to kind of size it how I want it here. I don't want it like too big or anything like that. And then I also want it definitely slid to the left a little bit. So it doesn't kind of you know, cover our text at all that's gonna be on that right side. And then I'm also just gonna grab that. I'm gonna go to adjustment and I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast. I'm just gonna give this PNG here a little bit of contrast and a little bit of brightness. That brightness definitely brings out some of the colors, makes it look much, much nicer. Now the text, I have a brand new font for you guys here. This font looks super cool. I also have a new way of kind of making it look a little bit 3D and giving it a bit more dimension here, which I think you guys are definitely gonna like. So we're gonna go to the text tool here. 
um, we're gonna go to add text and I'm of course just gonna type, type in ice for my own name. Now, obviously I don't want this original font here. So I'm gonna click on the down arrow up in this top left by the font here. I'm gonna click down and I'm gonna click add local font and this font right here should be in that Google Drive top link in the description. Again, if you guys haven't downloaded it yet, but I'm just gonna double click this, it's gonna add it right in. So I'm gonna click that and then I can double click back on the font thing here and I'm just gonna type in ice and it always defaults to black for some reason. So I'm just gonna type in fill. I'm gonna go to white here and then I'm also gonna go to size and I'm gonna drag this up a bit to the size that I like. I just wanna make sure it's big before I stretch it at all. Now, as you can see, I can't really see it very well, but that's totally fine here. Um, if you guys want, you guys can like um, hide the back layer if you guys want an easier layout to work with. And actually, you know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do for now just to show you guys um, how to do the text how I like. And then also, if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe the font was, yeah, so the font is italicized. So we're actually gonna go back here. And I believe if I just go do styles, no, I believe it's format, yeah. I go to format and I hit this italic button. It's just gonna make it italic. I think it just looks a bit cooler that way. Now we're gonna take this layer and you guys do need to follow a little bit closely here. So what we're gonna do is make sure we're selected on that text layer. And I'm going to go to edit, I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna go back to edit and I'm just gonna hit paste. And as you guys can see now, oh, we wanna hit allow. Okay, as you guys can see now, we have both of them um, kind of here and I'm just gonna line this one up with the other one. And as you guys can see, it turns green so you know it's exactly right above it. Um, and I'm gonna take the one below, and this is key guys, just pay attention here. I'm gonna take the one below and I'm gonna go back to format. No, I'm gonna go back to styles, I believe. Yep, and then I'm gonna click on the down arrow for outline or you guys can turn it on right here, it doesn't matter. And for the color here, I'm just gonna go over to this blue on the Demon Slayer character here and I'm just gonna click on it and that's gonna kind of give me a general like idea of what kind of blue I wanna use. I think I'm gonna rock with something around right here cause that looks good. And then I'm just gonna go to size. I'm gonna drag the size up just a little bit here. I'm not gonna make it too big, but I'm gonna make it look very similar to the thumbnail. And then we're gonna click exit out here. Now this bottom part, so this bottom layer is the blue one, the top is the white one. So now we wanna go to the top one here and we are gonna go to styles and we are gonna click on the shadow. And as you guys can see here, it doesn't really show up very well. So we're gonna take the distance actually. And we're gonna take that distance down a bit here. And then I'm gonna add the blur. And then we're also gonna grab the color and I'm gonna make it a lot darker here too. I don't know why it defaults to like that gray color here. And then if we drag the opacity up, that's when you're gonna start kind of seeing that like dimension underneath. Um, so I'm gonna drag the opacity up to probably like 95 or even 100 if you guys wanna go there. Um, blur, I'm probably just gonna take the blur pretty minimal here. Um, we don't really want much blur on it. And then the distance is kind of key to getting that, you know, element of 3D-ness. Um, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna adjust the opacity, give it a little bit less. And I think that's looking a bit better there. As you guys can see, it gives us a good like 3D look kind of to the text. So then now that we have this, I'm just gonna click the top one and I'm gonna click merge down. And as you guys can see, we have one layer here um, for the text. If I go to the move tool, as you guys can see, it's all just one layer now, which is perfect for us. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and then I'm gonna bring back that background layer by hitting this little eye on the right side here now that's looking really 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 good actually so for the Japanese text all we're gonna do here is go and open a new tab here I usually just type in English to Japanese type in my name and as you guys can see it's as easy as just right clicking and hit copy we're gonna go back I'm gonna click this I'm gonna add a new text layer and I'm just gonna control V for paste and as you guys can see that's a very easy way to get your name kind of in that Japanese text I'm gonna go back to the text tool here I'm gonna drag the size down a bit so I just don't want it that big here and then I'm also going to go to, I believe it is format here. And I'm gonna make it bold just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm also going to, you guys, I guess you guys could italicize this if you want. I'm just not going to, but I'm gonna drag this above the ice layer. And I'm gonna do the very same thing for this one. Um, I am just going to right click this. <clears throat> And I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the last one. So I'm just gonna speed through this, but all you guys have to do is essentially just create another layer, place it underneath, and then create that outline the same way I do the original text here.
All right, so looks like we've got this text done. I kind of just alternated the colors last time I used a white text. This time I just changed the text to blue and then I did the outline as white instead to kind of give it a cool dynamic. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna right click on the top layer. I'm gonna do merge down. So this merge together. So I've just got one. I'll go back to the move tool here and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller. I'm gonna rotate it a bit here. And then I'm just gonna kind of put it down there right where I had it before in the thumbnail. I think that's looking really, really cool. I like the effect that that gives. And as you guys can see, we are pretty much done. You guys can add some coloring, some finishing touches, as you guys know. Um, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to save it now and add it to your Twitter header. So we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to save and we're gonna do PNG. You guys can do JPG. I, I essentially don't really know which one saves a higher quality image anymore. They're constantly changing it. Um, it looks like PNG does a higher um, one, you know, looking at the size over here, but um, you guys can do either one. Like I said, I'm going to click save. I'm going to go to desktop here and uh, Deem Slayer header. And then we are going to click save. Make sure that that bottom one's a PNG. I'm just going to do my desktop here. And this one is, is whatever. I'm actually going to name it something else. We're going to name it Pixlr so I can compare that one. We're going to click save. And then as you can see, if we go to our desktop here, we have the one that I just made and it looks really, really clean. And the crazy thing about this is that I made this original one, the one in the thumbnail in Photoshop. And as you guys can see, it is very, very close to the same exact thing. Even the text looks on the dot um, exactly the same. But yeah, all you guys left have to do is I recommend just going on Twitter on the computer and then uploading it straight from your computer to Twitter. Um, if you upload it to your phone and then do it from your phone, you might suffer from a little bit quality loss. Um, honestly, I never really noticed a huge difference, um, but I always just kind of recommend people to use a computer if they have that option. If you guys like this video and you found this video helpful at all, I would greatly appreciate a like on this video um share it with your friends something like that drop a comment down below um i also answer all questions down there in the comments um so feel free to leave anything that you guys have questions on i appreciate you guys watching all the way till the end if you're still here i'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel which should be in a couple days here thanks for watching again peace